Hello and welcome back to TaylorMade Scale Modeling. This is just a short update on the stretch bus I'm building from the old Hazagava kit. Um, let me take the camera around so you can take a look at what I got. Alright, you may remember that uh, this is a commercial build for, um, for an advertisement actually. And um, so I'm keeping the interior very, very basic. There's not much to it anyway, I mean kit-wise, but um, and actually I'm not really putting any more effort in it because it's uh, going to be uh, used for uh, photo shooting from a distance. Uh, however, of course, I wanted to do a little, um, uh, of course, a little bit of interior. Oh, it needs to be there, just you know, for the fun of it and uh, modeler's pride, probably. Um, here, tires are done as well, um, but I'm actually keeping the. Um, the chrome parts from the kits as they are. I'm uh, just saving the time and effort to uh, cut this project a little short because um, I'm a little bit behind schedule and uh, for what uh, it is good I think this will suffice fully. Now uh, to the body. Um, you can remember this is what we started out with and um, this is what uh, the Lange Anna looks like right now. Um, you can see I've been uh, putting on paint so far from perfect uh, especially the masking um, I certainly have to work on that uh, this type of uh, masking I have never done before it wasn't necessary you know and uh, so in some places it's a little bit shady um, and uh, it, I still have to polish this uh, with uh, Tamiya compound which I have ready here and um, I can tell from the roof that it works pretty nicely um, you can see from uh, light distortion in the reflection where the body is actually connected you see there's a something of a distortion there right you can see that and let's get a little heavier towards the top. Oops, sorry about the, the noise. Um, and uh, same thing basically on the other side where they, uh, there's this set of doors here and there's another one here. And uh, you can see as well very faint distorting lines. I have been uh, working on this. Uh, basically it was the major work on this kit was closing these down. This was uh, for now the best I could and there's there's a decal coming on here so it probably will not even be that visible after that is uh, applied. Same here and there will be a big advertisement on either side. So uh, I think that came out pretty good. Um, I used rattle cans for painting this um, following uh, the advice of Don Yost's video on uh, airbrushing that he says that if you go to airbrush um, your models then uh, probably you should try first to work with a rattle can properly and uh, I really have to say I'm very um, I'm very satisfied uh, with this um, it, it does have a little orange peeling I guess you can tell but uh, I don't mind so much. It's it's looking nice. I think it's uh, it's it is it isn't perfect, quite certainly. But you can see the reflection. It's pretty darn shiny, and um, it was a lot uh, less effort than I had to put in on the uh, Jeepers project. All right, all right. Uh, this is Lange Anna Progressive Port number two, and. Next you'll see will be the finished model, I guess. Two, three days, hopefully. Uh, see you then. Take care and uh, hope to see you soon here at TaylorMade Scale Modeling. Bye-bye.